You're with junior welterweight contender Antonio Orozco, who will be fighting on October 3rd at the Stub Hub in California. Now you're going to be taking on Humberto Soto, who's a former champion and an experienced fighter. Is this the biggest fight of your career? Definitely the biggest fight of my career. You know, I uh, believe with every fight, we're stepping up in competition. And uh, with Humberto Soto, I mean, his career, his name, had, I mean, it withholds a lot. And uh, this is definitely a, a great fight for me. What are you expecting in this fight? Because like I said before, you have an, an experienced veteran. You're fighting on the undercard of Matisse versus Postal. Are you looking to steal the show or are you just looking to get that W? You know, I'm looking to put on a great show and I'm looking for a win at the end of the night. You know, that's uh, my main priority. And uh, definitely, you know, we always want to give the fans a good show. And uh, I think winning is, this is our thing right now. <laughs> In your last fight, you fought Emmanuel Taylor. What did you learn from that fight? And will that give you the edge and the experience going into this fight against Humberto Soto? Definitely. With every fight that you go to distance, it's a learning experience. And uh, I believe with my previous fights, you know, facing Honorio, facing uh, Steve Forbes, you know, I think we hold, you know, the, what it takes to, uh, you know, beat Soto on Saturday, October 3rd. And so, I mean, above all, you know, we want to give the fans, the boxing fans, a good fight and uh, you know, get a victory. Walk us through the nickname, Relentless. How did that come to fruition? How did that come about? Oh, you know, I mean, I guess just my style, you know, my style of fighting. I mean, I'm a pressure fighter. Uh, so now it looks like I have to live up to it. So, <laughs> you know, definitely, uh, you know, always put on a great show. You're 22 and 0 with 15 knockouts. It proves that you generate a lot of power behind those punches. Are you looking for that knockout? No, 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 no. Like I mentioned before, what we're looking for is a victory. You know, I believe with the victory, you know, it can open the doors to uh, bigger opportunities. But at first, uh, we have to, you know, we have a night with Humberto Soto, and that's what we're looking forward to. I know you don't want to look past uh, Humberto Soto, but if victorious, do you want the winner against Matisse? Postal because if Matisse is victorious, I can just see a barn burn between you and Matisse. I mean, two heavy punchers, two guys that like to go at it. That for me is a great fight. Yeah, you know, um, opportunities. Like I said, it's all about taking advantage of opportunities, and if presented, you know, that's something we can look at. Antonio, always a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you. and good luck.